Hi everyone, this video is all about how to start fresh with a clean install of iOS while keeping your health, activity, and Apple Watch setup. As we're coming up on the release of the iPhone 6s and 6s Plus, I've seen a lot of chatter about people wanting to start fresh on their new device, but they really want to keep their achievements and health data. It's a really good idea, and I happen to be skilled at fixing iOS backups and editing them from working on Decipher Backup Repair, so I decided to make a little tool to strip down an iOS backup to only the essentials for a clean transition of your health, activity, and Apple Watch data. So we're going to start with my iPhone 6 Plus, which is right here on the live video, and it has my Apple Watch paired with all of my activity data and we're going to transition it to a freshly wiped iPhone. Now I'm not cool enough to have a sneak preview iPhone 6S Plus or anything, so we're gonna transition it to my old iPhone 5S, but it's a freshly wiped device, so it will work. We can see if I go into my activity, here are my really unimpressive achievements and unimpressive history of fitness. And if we go into my health, we can see that I have some health data stretching back in time, also very unimpressive. And if we go back to my home screen, we can see that my phone is a super hot mess. So it's the perfect example for making a clean transition to a new device. So the very first thing that we're gonna do, because we're actually transitioning the data and the Apple Watch pairing to the new device, because presumably you wanna use your watch with your new phone when you get it, we're gonna go into the Apple Watch app at the very top, if we go to Apple Watch, it will show my Apple Watch paired with this iPhone. And what we want to do first is we want to unpair it with the old device. And yes, I definitely want to do that. So this is unpairing my device. And while it's doing this, it's also taking a backup right now of my Apple Watch. And that's important because we want to transition the watch smoothly to the new device. And now on my iPhone, 6 plus the watch is unpaired and it's greeting us with the pairing screen so now what we're going to do is go into itunes and we're going to make a backup of the old device of my iphone 6 plus so when you're making this backup you want to make sure of one thing and that is to check this checkbox that says encrypt the iphone backup because your health data as it says right here won't be backed up unless the backup is encrypted because that's sensitive data it doesn't matter whether or not you have iCloud or this computer set up for your automatic backups. It only matters that this box is checked. If you already have this box checked, this is not the time to play with changing your password. There are a few glitches in the world that mess up your backup data if you play too much with changing your password. So don't do that right now. Public service announcement. So we're gonna click backup now. So it's gonna back up my phone and in, in that backup is also the backup of my Apple Watch. Okay, now that the backup is completed, we're gonna minimize iTunes for a minute, and we're going to run this tool, Decipher Activity Transfer. Uh, yes, this was downloaded from the internet and signed, and I do wanna run it. Let's close this DMG window. So now the program's gonna tell you a little bit about what it does, which is taking a backup and paring it down all the way to just the health, activity, and Apple Watch data. And it's actually making a clone of the backup, so we're not gonna to touch the original at all. Click Next, and it sees my backup that I just made of my iPhone 6 Plus. And because this program is made from our programs that scan backups for errors. It does a little bit of scanning the backup to make sure that everything looks okay. And now we're gonna click clean it. And it's going through and doing some sanity checks on the backup, just because you'd probably like to know if we're starting from a broken backup. And now it's going to go through your backup and pick out the files that are from activity, health data, and Apple Watch files. Okay, and now we've finished pairing down the backup to just the health, activity, and watch data. And you'll notice at the bottom of the screen, it's telling you the name of the folder for that cloned backup. And then we hit next, and it's doing some finishing touches to make sure that the backup is sane for iTunes to understand and restore. 
And then it gives you instructions for how to restore the backup. So what we're gonna do is now I have a freshly wiped iPhone 5S sitting on the welcome screen. And we're gonna open up iTunes. We go in this list, there's a new backup and my iPhone 6 Plus is called K-Phone and there is a new backup called Decipher Clean K-Phone and that's our cleaned up backup with just the data we want. So I'm gonna say restore this phone with that backup. Type in my backup password. And you're gonna see that this restore goes very fast because it's just the health activity and watch data. So this is one of my favorite kind of backups to restore because it's so fast. All right, so my new phone is restored and it's rebooting right now. And now we're back at the welcome screen after the restore. So now we're gonna notice two things. The first is that iTunes, even though we just restored it from a backup, that backup had barely anything in it. So iTunes still thinks this is a new phone. So we're gonna say, yes, I wanna set it up as a new phone because that's what I wanna do. It's just a new phone with a little bit of knowledge. So if I go over to my 5S, it's also at the welcome screen. So we're gonna do the slide to set up and it's going to prompt me to go through the welcome screens like it's a brand new device. So during the restore, you may be asked if you want to set up the phone as new or restore from a backup, but we of course have already restored from a backup. So if you're asked, you wanna say set up as new. Now we have a fresh iPhone with just the stock apps, but if we go into the health app, we can see that it has my health data going back in time. Still unimpressive, but still mine and there. Now we won't see the activity app until we set up our watch. So the next thing we're gonna do is go into the watch app. We're met with the screen to set up an Apple Watch. So we're gonna say start pairing, and then we're gonna put my watch under the camera. And as it pairs the watch, it's going to ask us if we wanna set up the watch as new or restore from a backup. And we're gonna say we wanna restore it from a backup because we want today's activity that was in the backup that we just made as we were kind of tearing down our old phone. So we're gonna say restore from backup. And we can see the first backup is my backup of my watch from earlier today. And that is the one we're gonna select. And do all of your setup stuff. And now we wait for our watch to sync. And this will take a few minutes, so we will edit this out and come back in a minute when my watch is set up. All right, and we are back after my watch is done pairing with my 5S. And if we go into the activity app now, we can see my lovely activity from today and all of my activity from the past. But if we go back to my home screen, we see that everything else was gone. No email, no 31,000 unread messages, none of the apps, none of the things like that. So now that we're happy with our new fresh setup with health, activity, and watch all set up on the new device, we can go in here and say, I'm all done. Uh, and just in case, if you're having any problems, there is a link within the program to contact us if you have questions. Uh, it also has a reminder that while you're doing the welcome screens on the phone, you may be asked if you want to set up as new or restore from the backup. Uh, and in this case, if you've already restored the pared down backup, you wanna click set up as new. And of course, there's all of those great buttons to say positive things to us or about us, which we certainly appreciate.